can do. He's on course to claim his seventh consecutive win in Spain. And here he is, the world champion. He's got to do a 45-6 to win it. Now, Hervenen is in third on a 56-4. Tell you what, I'd be interested to see. Now, Miko, what was he, seven or something seconds down at the split? Need to kind of... Uh, wait for that split to come up but Loeb's drive again he's just masterminded the car oh, Van Merkstein in the stage as well yep it's uh, Mr Loeb that we're most concerned about at the moment though remember it's going to be about that final points for third place you don't often hear us say that but it's very unlikely that Loeb can get near the times of either of those minis on the hard compound tyres although this is Sebastian Loeb yeah. we are talking about <laughs> Well, if anyone could do it, he's it's still Mr. very Lowe. tentative. It's still very tentative. Well, uh, 3.6, that's quicker than Miko, though. Yeah, that will give him third place in the power stage and crucially the one extra point. Yeah, but he's coming into the drier section, though. Ah. Yeah, well, it's, it's all about one point. I mean, he's already going to get seven more than Miko here, and in the overall points. That's the lead. It's all about the lead now he's going to take into Rally GB, the final round of the season. It's just it's such a it could thrilling end to the points. season. It could be eight, could it? Be eight, it could be eight points or it could be six points, depending on yeah. whether or not he can beat Miko to this final point in the power stage. And, well, with just one round, one round remaining, you never know how important this one point could be. These power stages basically could decide the 2011 World Rally Championship. Well, Loeb's taken 18 points so far in the past stage to Hervenen's 14. Let's see. It's not really that time. I think Meek's safe. I really do. Yeah, Meek is it's safe. It's a 56-3 he's got to do. 56-3. Which he's going to do easy. 50.6. No, he has taken 30. Yeah. He's 4.9. Behind Meek, but he has Meek won the power stage. Yeah, Chris Meek wins the power stage. And Sebastian Nobel, he did the best he could on those hard compound tyres. Absolute delight for Chris Meek and Paul Nagel on their first ever power stage. And Brilliant. it's the first ever power stage for the mini. John Cooper works as well. Terrific for the Northern Irishman. And let's have a word with Chris down at the stock control. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Irish flags are up on the... Uh, we saw the Irish flags up on the roundabout, so uh, I don't think Chris could kind of breathe it. That's a massive day yeah, for Chris, him. It's your first power stage win and your first WRC stage victory. It must be a fantastic feeling. Yeah, incredible. You know, I have to say, after France, we were in a bit of a downer, but uh, coming here, we, we settled into a rhythm all weekend, and, you know, we were running sixth until OG had the problem. To get a fifth place and to win the power stage is... Uh, yeah, something pretty special, I have to say. And you said this morning that you were saving everything for the power stage tonight, just checking your notes, and it obviously worked out. Yeah, we made a call with the tyres. We had to drive the two long stages previous to this on the softs, and, yeah, we had enough cushion behind, so we didn't lose a position, but uh, it proved uh, to be the right choice for the power stage, and, yeah, all credit to the team. They've done a fantastic job. OK, thanks, Chris. Congratulations. Thank you. Brilliant power stage success for Chris Meek. I think that's his first stage win as well. Absolute delight for everyone back at the mini team and what terrific tyre choice decision that was. And of course it is Sebastian Loeb who maintains his monopoly of Spain victories, extending his record to seven wins in Catalonia. Well, in terms of his championship hopes, it couldn't have come at a better time either, could it? No, it couldn't have. I mean, uh, the guy is just supreme. I mean, look at the list of rallies on that flag that he's won, but eight-point lead now he takes with him to Rally GB in a few weeks' time. Yeah, terrific weekend for Sebastian. And that, of course, does confirm that Citroen also retained the Manufacturers' Championship. It's certainly been a thrilling finale on the Catalan asphalt. There are the final power stage results. That's an extra three championship... Uh, sorry, one championship point for Loeb and three for Chris Meek. Two for Danny Sordo, a 1-2 finish for the mini team for the first ever time. The first power stage victory for Chris Meek and for the mini John Cooper works. Terrific result for them. And Sebastian Oak just pips Miko to that final point. Crucial, could that be come the end of the season? Eight points lead into the final standings. And I think we can have a word with the world champion. He's down at the stop control. A terrific finish to the weekend for him. Yeah, we, 
had uh, some bad uh, rallies uh, just before this one. Uh, puncture in Germany, crash in Australia, engine in France. So now to start again uh, the season where with the victory is really good. It was really important for me to score a lot of points here. We've done uh, our best and uh, I think we've done a great rally. And this has got the manufacturers crying for Citroen, which is the main goal? Yeah, we have the, now the manufacturer title. That also was uh, very, very important. Uh, it was on a good way, but since the last rally, we've done some mistake and we had some trouble. So now finally it's in the pocket. Now we can concentrate fully on the uh, driver championship. Congratulations, Seb. Thank you. Yeah, terrific results for Sebastian Loeb. There is confirmation of his win by two minutes in the end from Mikko Hirvonen and Yari Mati Latvala. Once again, I think that's been three rallies in a row. He's uh, conceded a position to help his teammate in the Manufacturers uh, Championship. Terrific weekend for Ford as well as the Power Stage win. They also have both their drivers finish in the top five in the overall standings. Danny Sordo just outside the podium places at his home event. Chris Meek finishes for his first ever WRC points and his first for Mini, of course, as well in fifth place. Mads Osberg, Evgeny Novikov, Henning Solberg, Dennis Koypis down there in ninth and Khaled Al Kasimi claiming the final point scoring place in tenth. And as we said in the Drivers' Championship, we do have a final rally showdown to come between Loeb and Kievenen. As we said, Kievenen just eight points behind the world champion as we go to the final round at Wells Rally GB. Ogier doesn't get any points with that late engine failure, while Yari Mati Latvala, he gets a bit of a bump up the standings. He's now still in fourth place, sorry. Petter Solberg still in fifth despite his no score. And Mats Osberg, he gets a boost as well with Danny Sordo, now his closest rival for sick with that fourth place finish. And as we've said, there is confirmation. Citroen have secured the manufacturer's title for the seventh time. They're now just three championships away from the legendary Lancia team's total of 10, despite that non-score for Ogier, with a maximum of 43 points available in Great Britain. They now have an insurmountable lead of 46 points over Ford. Congratulations to everyone at the Citroen Total team. A very difficult weekend, but you found some pace this morning. You got some valuable points again. Yeah, it was very difficult morning, um, weekend, and okay, I'm happy I found some pace to just calm myself down. But uh, you know, Yaremati did a fantastic job again. He's been helping me so much this weekend. But at least you know now we are still everything is possible in GB, and uh, there's just unbelievable turnaround now in the power stage as well with all the weather and everybody were hugging basically wrong tires except Minis. So uh, really good like this. And you're just refusing to give the title to Lope. Well, we are still there, we're easily there, so uh, at least we get the GP. I, I know the rally, I love the final over there, so, uh, you know, it's going to be a good fight. Yeah, look forward to it. Thank you, Mika. Thank you. Did a terrific final stage. Let's have a look back at some of the best moments from the Spanish power stage. Champagne celebration for Chris Meek, a dramatic finish. Your final thoughts on Rally Spain? Well, Loeb again showed everyone how to drive a rally weekend rather than just one or two days, but that's a big, big moment for the sport, to be fair. You know what I mean? Mini only five rallies in. They've had podiums, they've won power stage now. It's just great for the sport. The more manufacturers coming in prove that they can be successful early on. And what delight for Chris Meek after what has been a really frustrating 
first few rounds for the Northern Irishman. Paul Nagel, congratulations as well. He'll be delighted with that. Finally, it's come together for Chris. We knew he had the speed. Finally, he's been able to prove it. And next up, of course, he has his home event at Wales Rally GB. That's it. I think Chris will be uh, one of the proudest moments today for him. He's actually... So, just one event remains, and that is the traditional season finale. Wales Rally GB and our championship contenders, Loban Hirvonen, will have to be at their very best to conquer one of the toughest rallies of the year with a new look route across the whole of Wales, and it's just over three weeks away. So, Loeb's Spanish domination continues. He extends his lead in the championship, but it will go down to the wire this season. Both the Frenchman and Gervinen have won in Wales before. Ogier out of the mix now. Anything could happen, though, at the 2011 championship decider. Make sure you join us again for the final round in Wales. We'll be crazy to miss it. For now, though, it's adios.